Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Curse of the Sea Rats. Last time we left off, we were hanging out over here, um, and I actually adjusted the um, audio settings a little bit. Um, I turned the master all the way back up and basically just turned down music and sound effects a little bit. I think I will turn them up a little bit more, but voices is basically maxed out so that we can try and hear some of these voices and cutscenes a little bit better. Um, so hopefully this will fix it a, a wee bit. I'm hoping. So, uh, let's go grab some of the stuff that we can get, um, around here. Cause, uh, there should be some more stuff to grab over here. And yeah, we are gonna try playing as Busa this time. Just to see if I can do anything, uh, anything cool with Busa. Still can't talk to you in the background, which is interesting. But, yeah, hopefully this fixes the voices a little bit. The music was just always overpowering it. The mixing is flawed. Thank you very much, little one. Okay, that's so much better, I think. Okay. There we go. I think that's a lot better. Beautiful. Ooh, a thousand, uh, dollar redos. Do I even have anything else to spend money on? <laughs> I feel like I don't. But, uh, whatever. There is also another treasure chest I can get over here, yeah? If we go over this way, and then one more screen to the left. I don't want to fall down there. Yeah, so over here. Yeah, here's a treasure. Now, how did I get to you? You're just a high jump needed, right? I think so. Yes. Okay. A metal sphere and 500. Okay, the metal sphere is just another bit of treasure. Cool. All right, well, uh, there we go. More stuff obtained there. Uh, I think we can continue over that way some more. I can also teleport back down there and we can continue that way. Hmm. Some more treasures for me to get. There's this thing. There's also that. I have a lockpick, so I can open some of these doors now. Maybe it would be worthwhile checking out some of these other doors. Um, let's try that out. Uh, there's some doors in various places that I would like to check. Um, so I think we'll do that. I'm gonna punch you in the face, cat. This is the meanest I'm ever going to be to a cat. At any point. Okay, here. Can I go up? Uh, we cannot. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. I'm just gonna teleport back down to those other areas that we saw before and see if we can do anything in any of these. Ooh, that's really good. I've noticed something about Busa. Um, his dash actually does damage. Uh, because it's like a shoulder charge. Like, look at that. That's That seems pretty good. Okay, Busa. There's another benefit to you. Alright, so I can open this door with the lockpick. Um, there's also a treasure chest over there I want to grab. Let's use the lockpick on this, just to see what this gives us access to. But yeah, Busa being able to, to do that seems pretty good. Because I can just kind of throw that out whenever I want to. Okay, Busa, okay. Okay, here's kind of Lachusa's pit. Um, okay, that looks like somewhere I don't want to go right now. But yeah, just being able to dash to do damage like that, very, very handy, I must say. Especially since I can just jump in the air and just spam that. That seems cool. I still think Buffalo is probably the strongest character, but I would be interested to see what I can actually pull off with this. Buffalo and you were my two favorite initially based off of what I saw. So I would like if I could utilize both of you in some way. Uh-huh. Okay, this thing I have to parry, right? Yeah, I specifically need to parry it. Can I even parry with you? I don't remember- okay, yeah, no, I just need to be better at timing it. Okay, so we can. And I do heal off of- did I get that skill? I don't think I have that skill yet. I think I still need to get that skill. I don't think I quite have it. The heal when I block 
for the first time, but this attack is amazing. Just being able to dash into enemies to harm them. I love that. More of Lechusa's pit. Okay. Well, how about we continue in here just a little bit? See what we can uh, get into. Why don't we? Maybe we'll be able to get into something cool. I don't know. If I could at least find, like... Um, a checkpoint or save here, that would be nice. There we go. Good level up. Ooh. Okay, and then break that, and now... Yeah, I can get down here whenever I please. Okay. Well then. That looks good to me. 32% of the map has been revealed. I'm trying to keep an eye out for things here. How do I... Is that... Okay, that is a border. Just wanted to make sure. It's kind of hard to tell sometimes when there's a clear border and not. Okay, I was about to say, I'm not gonna, like, sink if I go in this, right? <laughs> it didn't look like very deep water, but I'm trying to be careful here. The music here is very... chill. I like it quite a bit. Oh, hi. Uh-huh. You're very cute. I do love having access to that, too. That, like, the fact that you have, like, the down attack that I can bounce off of enemies with, much like Buffalo does, is kind of amazing. I do love that. So, having access to that is fantastic as well. So, hmm. Alright, alright, Pusa. You're, you're kind of selling me here. Once again, still think Buffalo's, like, the best, just because of the access to the ranged attacks, but I was initially very enamored with this character, and I would like if I could effectively use them. And your blocking seems just super busted, so... Goodbye. Okay, there was another one of them down there. And we got more Octopi to deal with, so can I hit you with this? I can. Beautiful. Hello, Octopus. It's hanging out over here. Really need that checkpoint video game. Could really, really use a checkpoint right about now. Okay, maybe over here? Though, not specifically, not over here. Okay. There's gotta be a checkpoint around here somewhere then. If there's a boss fight right there? Alright, we just gotta find it. I was really thinking that was gonna be it, because it looked like a dead end, but... No, that leads to specifically what I do not want to deal with right now. This looks like a boss fight arena. God, we have so much money, but what do I spend this on? I can only buy so many health items. Like, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, let's just go up here. Maybe, maybe Robert will start selling more expensive health items at some point. Because right now, all I've been able to really spend my money on is, like, that yarn and junk. Which doesn't seem super handy. Well, it was handy th when I got it, but now that I've bought them all and I can't buy any more, significantly less handy. There we go. Goodbye. I always get an apple from those dorks. I feel like it's pretty consistent at this point. Okay, so this takes me back up to this place. Oof. Don't like the looks of this. Could you bring me to a safe room, please? Or a teleport room? I would take either one. I think this just leads up to that door up there. I thought I fell. I thought I fell. Does it make, want me to make that? Oh, I think it wants me to go up there. Well, I can just do this, yeah? I can just do that. Whoa. Oh my god, that's a lot of pirates. Okay, you know what? Maybe we maybe we just drop back down and we, we go do we we go somewhere else for now, huh? <laughs> I don't I don't think I want to go here right now. I think we're gonna continue over this way. 
At least we have a little bit more time for me to decide who who I would like to use for the rest of the game between Busa and Buffalo. Um, we still got a, we still got a bit of game left. Obviously, I could lean into like one of them right now and just become like super super OP. But quite frankly, I already feel pretty strong anyway, so it doesn't feel super needed. All right. Um, the other cool thing about Busa. Let's just take a nap. There we go. <laughs> See, isn't that amazing? Just having the ability to freely heal as well. That makes it a lot easier to like do traversal things, you know? Like just walking around the map and not having to constantly use my heals just for that. And that feels good. This is a breakable wall. That one I could immediately see. It was very noticeable. Sapphire necklace, I'm guessing that's just treasure? That is not what I meant to do. Um, okay, but God, I was like, where's this thing? Sapphire necklace, yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, we grab that. So what's over here? Something shooting ink at me. Probably an octopi. Yeah, having a full damage block is quite nice. That's very, very handy. The game was weirdly chugging there and I'm not sure why. Aha! I would like to improve my skills, thank you. Okay, um, increase my HP, increase my crit chance. The first hit you block heals you for 3% of your total health. That is what I would like. That seems very, very strong. So let's get you that. That. And I can start working on that as well, but we can also just get defense. Yeah, safeguard seems strong. All right, let's go, uh, let's go fight a boss fight, don't we? All we gotta do is just go up to the top of this room and we got ourselves another boss fight. Alrighty, there we go. I do just like the idea of leaning into the character that I like the most visually anyway, and it is one of these two. I do just love Buffalo and you. Bang. What do we got here? Some more treasure. A sea sponge. God, I keep pressing the wrong button, my god. Uh, oh, that's not actually a treasure? That does not appear to be a treasure, actually. I've heard that certain animals love them as a snack. What loves sea sponges as a snack? Is it clams? I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I, I don't know what I'm talking about, in case you, in case you didn't realize. God, that's so good. Just being able to freely heal. Oh, and a teleport point as well. Uh, we just gotta farm some spiritual energy first. I'll just kill this, uh... This dork a few times. Alright, dork has been slayed a few times. So, uh... We can now fast travel. So, let's go all the way back to Robert's. Because I have quite a bit of money on me right now, and I would like to spend it, if possible. That would be just dandy. So, let's get over here and see what we got. There's also those characters that needed, like, just a laundry list of things. Would you like to buy something? Hey. Okay, I mean, you have pretty boring stuff still. Um, I'll buy the three healing items, but not really much else for me to get. I mean, the teleport whistle is neat, but the fact that it's consumable kind of throws, like, makes me not want to use it, basically. So, eh. Alright, once again, let's go back and tackle a boss fight, why don't we? This is where I need to be, I believe so. So, got another loss, uh, a loss fight, a boss fight to defeat here. I'm only missing, I suppose I should go over here and just grab the HP. That little bit of HP may save me. Oh, wait. I never continued here. Oh, I didn't realize this continued. Oh, whoops. Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad I came back over here. I was, I had in my head that the save room was right to the left of the teleport room, but no, that's not the case, actually. This leads somewhere more. Hello. There you go. Okay. Wow, this is going for a pretty good while, actually. Oh, is this connecting all the way to the other end over there? 
Possibly. Revealing a whole lot of the map right here. Yeah, look at that. That was almost a full percent. Ow. Ow. So the purple ones do the range. The, like, blue ones are the melee ones. Ow. Stop that. Dude just loved going around punching things to death, too. Are you still alive? You're still alive. No, you're not. Ow. Okay, that hurt a fair bit. Belly flop. There we go. Oh, you hit me one last time. It's okay, just heal. <laughs> I suppose something I could do is just use uh, use Busa for traversal because of that. Ooh, the lighthouse key. Um, use Busa for traversal because of that neat heal. And then just use Buffalo for bosses because um, she seems like she would just be the most effective at that. Um, still can't do anything about that. I need the ability to dig or something. It didn't add a um, chest marker to my map though. That worries me. Usually it was it was doing that for those, but that one it did not. How unfortunate. Um. All right, let's get a picture of this. All right, I have a picture of this. Um, I didn't actually save it on my phone this time because uh, I don't have my phone with me actually. Um, I could go up there and grab that chest really quickly and then teleport back over there. I think I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna go over here, grab this chest, because I think I can get it now, and then I'll walk back to this and teleport over there and we can tackle the boss. Oh, but I'm realizing I never actually went all the way in here. Hi. Uh-oh. Don't waste any more of my time. Oh, okay. Weird. Was that? I guess this is as good as mine, Busa. Wait, so... Oh my god, even more? What? What's happening here? Okay. Weird. Don't know who or what that was. Interesting. Well, I know what it was, but... Or what they were. This one was just one of the X marks the spot things. Damn it! Okay, well that's not useful to me. I had to use a healing item here because this dork, I kept trying to punch it when I was like right here and it would run right there and I would miss. So um, I think I had to do a low attack on it and I kept missing and I took to a little bit too much damage to feel safe. Well fuck, I, I died anyway even after using the healing item. Um, be stuck with this one. I didn't drop that much stuff, but I'm, I'm gonna go grab it anyway. Alright, we're back over here, and I'm hitting up the save. I do actually have a pretty good amount of currency, so I do have enough for a level up again at least. Those spikes are brutal because they do a percent of your max HP. I guess it's not as brutal as it could be, because um, they could instant kill you, like they do in a lot of other games, but... Alright, let's... um. Increase my crit damage. And then I can work on getting the safeguard. I'm really starting to wor to wonder if I should just use this, um... Uh, this milk. Like, come on, increases my max health by 50%? If, if it was, like, equipment, I would say, oh, it's equipment that I use, and it just increases my max health. Which would be very, very good, too, but... I don't know. I don't know. I feel like saving it until I'm totally sure which character I'm going to use. Like, I could totally just lean into Busa right now, but let's do one more boss fight with Busa and see how I feel. See how I feel about him after that, yeah? So, let's just get back up here. That little dork hit me. That attack is very, very good. Just because you can kind of jump back and consistently just hit it. Because you can kind of still move yourself afterwards a little bit, so... <clears throat> That's an interesting one. Maybe using that a lot in a boss fight. Hi. Here we go. Where are we fighting? I see. Shoo! Hairy snacks from Mommy Lachusa. What a tasty snack! 
Uh, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Those crunchy little bones are mommy's favorites. Will they be sweet or salty? I can't wait anymore to find out. Shoo! Why do you say shoo? Does everything on this island just want to kill me? I'm going to soften you up, and then I'm going to eat your octopus. Okay, Lachusa. Oh god, that mouth. Please don't. Oh. Ow. Okay, so can I just run through them? I can. Okay, well that's something I can do. Okay, oh, I chopped it off by punching it. Okay. Ow. Okay, I can heal. Because of the character I'm playing as, that just makes it pretty busted. Eat fist, nerd. Ow. I can take that hit. I am Busa. Feel my fists. My fists of fury. Okay, see, I can block you. Okay, yeah, no, you know, I'm liking Busa. I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling confident about my abilities to do things with Busa. Ow. Heal. Like, look at this. I haven't had to use any items or anything. And I can just block. Oh, yeah, no. Okay. Good heavens! Yeah, Busa, I think, I think you're who I'm going with. I really like Buffalo, too, though. My cheeks are puffier than a sack of chickpeas. I haven't been in this hard since that time in Galithia, damn it. Zoo! A time in Galizia? What? I feel like this is a reference I'm supposed to get, but I don't, so... <laughs> I got a hook? Wait, is that... Is that like a grappling hook, or... A fake hook to make you look like the perfect pirate. Okay, yeah, because there's the character that wants to be the pirate. Okay, so that's, that's what this is for. Okay, good to know. Lachusa's pit, we have, uh, we have successfully cleared out. So that's cool. Well, that was interesting. Alright, you know what? We're just gonna go ahead and bite the bullet here. I like you. I think you're cool. So, let's, let's just go ahead and do it. Let's just go ahead and do it. Okay, wait, did it, did it... That did not increase my HP by 50%. My max HP. So it so it is a, it, it was just a heal, I think. Okay, I think it was just a heal. It said increase 50% of my max HP. I thought it was permanently. It seems like that might not be the case, which if I just wasted a healing item, I don't really care. I thought getting a 50% increase on the amount of health you have would be busted. And it seems I was right. Uh, okay. So, where do we want to go from here? There's some stuff over there, yeah? In the, um, the tower. Which I actually have the lighthouse key now, so... Why don't we go check that stuff out? Um, because there's not much else I think I want to do... Over here. Alright, so yep. Abandoned lighthouse, let's go. <clears throat> so we have one of the bits I need for a pirate disguise. Which is cool. But now... Er, oh wait, yeah, that's right. We can't do this until I have... Well, no, because I have the lighthouse key now. Hell yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, I don't have a lockpick, but I don't need a lockpick. I need the key, and I have the key. Like, Busa might not do as much damage as Buffalo, but God, do I feel like I'm just invincible. There we go. I've used the lighthouse key. Hey, nerd. Oh God, you have HP. Luckily, you just walk forward into my fists. Thank you for that. Alrighty. Ooh. Is this... Interesting. This is just... You just walk out here and you can see that, huh? I'm guessing I probably don't want to jump off there, even though that area feels weirdly pointless, pointless without doing that. I definitely need to get more crit chance on Busa so I can do some more damage, though. That would be phenomenal. Whoop. Didn't mean to actually walk in here. Great. Now we gotta deal with this stupid rat again. Alrighty. 
But yeah, I also like that your dash actually damages. Like, that's amazing. Because I can dash through enemies and combo them with that. That seems really cool. Awesome. Hi, nerd. Plus, you can just dash in the air, too. So I just have a damaging dash. Love it. And then see, yeah, you can combo like that and stuff. This is cool, this is cool. Ooh, it actually breaks. Okay, I'm glad I checked. Give. Uh, just the return whistle. Okay, nothing, nothing too wild then. God, yeah. Now, I basically just have an extra hit on my combo now with that charge. Let's go ahead and heal. Yeah, God, just being able to heal whenever I want. Now, I basically just turned it into a different game. Like, this character just has healing when other characters... Like, well, non-consumable healing when other characters don't, which is nice. Now I don't have to rely on the healing items, which feels good. Of course, I guess I don't really have much else to use my money on, though. At this point. Hello. Oh, God, what a terrible place to fight you. What a terrible night for a curse. Okay. We have a lot of apples, don't we? I need to equip the apples. For eh, I guess we we have a max cap of 50. I'll just I'll just keep them then. All right. We'll just hold on to our apples, save them for late game, you know. About to hit 40% of the way through the map. That's good stuff. Hello. Good old sky puppy. And there's a cat over here. Hello, kitty. Uh, you did a very, very bad job at getting me. Alright, later, I guess. Um, one of the, uh, I actually followed the developer for, um, a very, very cool RPG that I'm looking forward to called Small Saga. And, uh, they actually retweeted this game and were like, Oh, everybody go check out the new, the new mouse slash rat game. And I was like, yeah! A developer I've been following for quite a bit, interacting with a developer for a game I want to play. It's cool to see. I'm really, really looking forward to that game. It's basically just, uh, you know, an RPG, except, um, you're like, you know, American Tale style rats and rodents and stuff. Which is cool. Pretty sure that, that thing, that stuff was called an American Tale. The little thing about the rat explorer. I called a bunch of them when I was younger on, like, Cartoon Network and stuff. What is this? There's just another way up here. Okay, I could just fight spiders instead. Alright, I don't particularly care unless this wall is breakable. It is not. Wait, why would it be? There there was a room on the other side of it. <laughs> you fool. That was an enemy box. Hello. Well, that was simple. Whee! Ooh, a level up elixir. Thank you very much. All right, let's go ahead and pop that. Increase levels of all characters. We are level 17 now. We are getting there. There's nothing else in this room. Nope, doesn't seem like it. Okay. So then we just head up here. That is a different color cat. Okay. Do they do different things? I'm imagining so. You like that cat? You like that uppercut into your ass? It specifically does not enjoy the uppercut into its ass, in case you were wondering. I don't know if you could hear the noises it was making, but that means it didn't enjoy it. Believe me, I'm a cat expert. I, help you? I want to improve my skills! So, the first hit you block heals 3% of your total health. See, that sounds amazing. I'm just gonna be invincible. And then, yeah, this too. When receiving lethal damage, you survive with 1 HP. Like, Busa is just like, you can't kill me. Eat it, nerd. It's the rat's time to shine right now. 
My cats down- or ca my cats are downstairs and they're like, Why have you betrayed us, father? Why do you act against us? God, they scream a lot when they die, though, because they take a lot of hits. <laughs> Sounds like I'm playing, like, I don't know, a Banjo-Kazooie game. It seems like they all do the same thing. I kind of expected them to do different things depending, you know, kind of like the octopi did. You know, the purple ones were ranged, the blue ones were melee, but these just seem to all just run at you. That's kind of all they do. Having a dash that actually does damage helps with when I'm getting stuck in a hitbox, too. Beautiful. Alrighty. Let's continue... Oh my god, so many cats. I wonder what kind of boss I'm gonna be fighting in this place. Just to reset my combo just by repeatedly punching you like that. The fact that the enemies uh, do take hit stun means that you can do some pretty funny stuff in regards to that. There we go. Cool. And we have another one of these things hanging out over here. This leads to a treasure. I'm gonna have to mark this on the map again. Alright, that's been added. Got a, got a nice handy dandy screenshot of that. Two boss fights, huh? Alright. I mean, I got my sandwiches and stuff ready to go. Let's see what you got, nerd. Okay. Captain Ahab, is that you? I don't much like visitors, but vermin in my lighthouse. Wow, look, it's me. With tons of cats. I don't look that incredibly badass, though. The cats have always kept away the rodents come to steal from my pantry. But seems I'll have to take care of yous myself. Oh, I think we are in the wrong place. Excuse us, sir. We're on our way out. And rats are talking, and here's me with a solitude getting to me. All these years in this lighthouse by me lonesome. Or is it the devil come to torment me, maybe? Maybe. Either way, the fire will purify you. Will the fire purify me? Okay. You seem very, very cool. What is that? That's a ground slam? Uh-huh. Burned? Uh-oh, what does burned mean? Oh, hey. Okay. Um, I will heal. Okay, you missed. Okay, you seem not bad at all. Alright. Oh, well that was an incredibly short range attack. You're sitting down? Oh, I gotta fight your cats now. Ow, you kicked me. Mm-hmm. We can just heal again. <laughs> yeah, you get so many opportunities to just walk back and heal. I feel like the game wasn't properly balanced around Busa's ability to heal like that. Because, God, it's so free. Eat it, nerd. I can just go ahead and do that. Yeah, you're tossing lantern oil at me. Ow. Just, just dash through them. It's fine. So, let's see how much this, this heal does. Yeah, no, that just straight up heals me a pretty good amount, just blocking like that. Oh, that can't block magic, though. Okay, yeah, incredibly easy with Busa. Arr, not my beard! Bloody rocks! And you're dead. Yeah, you just exploded. Awesome. I got a fancy lamp. Instead of my wobbly lamp. Perfect for illuminating large rooms. So I have the wobbly lamp that just illuminates small ones, but that illuminates large ones. Okay, that's cool. Well, I'm glad I got that. Okay, it seems like we can look two different ways here. Can't see anything. 
There's a shilling shaped slot on one side. A shilling shaped slot. Interesting. We need coins. Okay, we need coins for up here. Okay. Huh. That'll that'll have to go in my notes, but I'll add that in just a second. For now, I would like to get back down to that save point. We can end things off. 40% of the way through the map now. Hey nerds. I have no need of you. Believe me, I have more than enough XP to go spend. Alright, Busa it is. Busa's who we're rolling with. Look at that 500 HP. God, I'm so tanky. And I can just heal based off of a percent of my max HP. Oh, it's so good. Yep, give me the increased crit damage too. And then once I have Survivor... Oh my god. Jump in the air and fall, dealing physical damage to my enemies and knock them back. Alright, we're in. We're in. Alrighty, well... Hope you've enjoyed this episode of Curse of the Sea Rats, and I'll see you next time for some more.